Kia ora Koto and welcome to Space Base in about three minutes. There is no solo mode. It's a game for two to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. You are the Commodore in charge of a small fleet of ships. Your ships start defending your home sector, but as you expand your home fleet, you can send ships out to explore and engage. Can you assemble a great armada and get yourself promoted to Admiral? The game ends after one player has reached 40 points and the winner is the player with the most points. Points are gained by cards with the rocket symbol. Card management. Space Base has a lot of cards with different effects. Dice. Dice rolls determine which card effects will happen each turn. Player turn. Each player has three tracks on their board. Yellow represents money and tracks how much you can spend on new cards. Green is your income. At the end of your turn, if your yellow marker is below the green one, move it up to match. And the last track is your score track, which is advanced when you activate a card with the rocket symbol. Each ship card in your display has a number at the top right. This is the number which, when rolled, will activate the card. When it is your turn, you will roll two dice. The blue section of the card will resolve if you activate that card. So we place the seven here to get three coins. We could also choose to resolve the three and the four separately if we wanted to, gaining one coin from each. We then spend money to buy a card from one of the three displays. This one here costs four coins. It replaces the current card in the five area, which is turned over and tucked under the board, so the red part of the card is showing. Now in other players' turns, when they roll the two dice, you gain one coin whenever a five is rolled. If a double is rolled at any time, you can claim its benefits twice, so gaining two coins if someone else rolled a double five, or four coins if you rolled it on your turn. This means numbers one through six are likely to activate a lot more than high numbers like 12, which only activates on a double six. There are also lots of different type of card effects. This one activates the card to its right. This one is charged up when you roll it, and that charge can be spent to take a special action. This one allows you to get bonus cards for free. This one activates either the card left or right, and the number 11 card here increases your income. Each of these cards can be upgraded and replaced and subsequently flipped over to their red side. Finally, you can also buy expensive colony cards, which give you lots of points but these do not generate bonuses when rolled. Why would you like this game? Space Base is a fast-paced, fun game with a lot of interesting little puzzles built into it, and it will appeal to a wide variety of people. Its simple core rules make it family and casual friendly, but the probabilities and card interactions will hook in many hobby players. And what will hook those hobby players are the special cards and all their different possibilities. There are tons of interesting combos and tricky plays that can be done with them. There's also plenty of decisions about what numbers to go after, whether to focus on money, income, points or specials. I also really dig that every single ship card has a unique name and unique art, even if it's just a different color scheme. The best thing about this game is that everyone's always in Engaged. You get to do stuff on other players' turns, and that's really good. However, some of the special cards aren't very clear about what they do initially, so you'll have to read up about them in the rulebook. This can slow down early games a fair bit. And well, it's a dice game, so people who always moan about dice rolls will probably moan about it. For a similar game with a real-world setting, try Machikoro. And for another space game about dice, try Roll for the Galaxy. Space Base. It's basically better Machikoro. If you enjoy this video, Hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.